proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here's another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station to bring you this story, as proudly we hail the United States Army. Our presentation is entitled, Night Holds a Surprise. It holds a lesson in international relations and a salute to the efforts often unsung of the military police corps. Our first act curtain will rise in just one moment, but first... You know, a man with a good eye to the future makes a good soldier. And that's why so many bright young men and women are joining the United States Army now. For Army life is an exciting career. And there's plenty of room up at the top. And today, American soldiers get the finest technical training in the world. Every man is a specialist, a master at his job. And the Army sees to it that every man is trained to do his job and do it right. Because the Army is growing so fast, today's soldiers are being promoted fast. Now, you work hard, sure. But believe me, the rewards are really well worth it. The Army needs healthy, intelligent young men and women, volunteers from 18 to 34. So if you've got what it takes... Plan ahead to get ahead. Now, that's sound advice for you, you high school graduates. And here's how you can act on that advice. Your United States Army is offering a bright future in such interesting technical fields as radio, radar, electronics, mechanics, photography, and many, many others. In all, there are over 100 courses to choose from. Now, perhaps you're not qualified in any of these urgently needed skills. Well, I got the answer to that one. Your Army, through its Reserve for You training program, will train you in the course of your choice. And you pick your own training course before you enlist. How's that? Huh? Great opportunity. Your opportunity to plan ahead, to get ahead. So for full information, visit your nearest United States Army recruiting station. Ask all about the Reserve for You training program. Remember, there's no obligation. And now, your United States Army presents the proudly we hail production, Night Holds a Surprise. Hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Zarko. What can I do for you? I see. I see. I believe we have you know in a few days. Thank you indeed for your kindness in calling. Goodbye, calling. Goodbye, calling. Goodbye, calling. Goodbye, calling. Goodbye. Smooth, as you say. How long do you figure it is going to last, Reinhardt? There's no reason why it won't last indefinitely. Yes, perfect blind. You've got a contract trucking business under another name. This export office under the name on your passport. You get the info on what is being shipped in here to the Orient when you contract to deliver it, and if it's interesting, we steal it. <laughs> I consider it most injudicious to speak all these matters. Yes, yes. But the reason I am speaking is I have something on my mind. What? You and me. We're taking too much risk doing these jobs ourselves. We've been over all this before, Louis. Every additional man brought in the deal is another mouth an eating mouth, and a talking mouth. The risk we take is slight. Our jobs have been spread over the whole Far East, no two in the same place. I still don't like it. You have a streak of indolence, Louis. You must learn to overcome it. And I do not like tonight. A job right here in Yokohama, it is too close to home. Remember one thing, Louis. Yes, what? I am running this show. Remember it. <laughs> Car six, car six, investigate disturbance in front of Yokohama Hotel. Car six, repeat. 
investigate disturbance in front of Yokohama. Well, that's not us. Unfortunately, not. Yeah. Things have sure been quiet tonight. Perhaps it is quiet which precedes storm. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, gee, Frank, wouldn't it be something if we could crack a big case? Oh, if big case presented itself for cracking, would be most opportune indeed. Yeah? Long overdue promotion might be hastened, enabling long postponed marriage to take place. Are you thinking about getting married? Huh? Thinking, yes. Ah, uh, no kidding. She's some gal your folks picked out? Miyoshi-san combines happy choice of honorable parents with own desires for Oksan. In other words, they picked her out, but you think it's Dai Job. Ah, uh, precisely. Well, I just had my promotion. Of which you need not remind me, since I am only just now recovering <laughs> from stomachache produced by celebration of same. Uh, that was some party, huh? Oh, was indeed. Those American hot dogs swell. R9, R9, traffic accident, taxi entrance to main station. Still not us. Repeat. Oh, that's the law. However, even on dull night, I congratulate self for obtaining present assignment. I have chance to improve knowledge of English language, pleasant company to help. Oh, you're not so bad yourself. You know, when they told me I was going to be assigned to a car with a Japanese policeman, I sure never thought it'd be like this. How so, Jim-san? Well, heck, I thought he wouldn't be able to speak any English at all, and we'd be riding around all the time with nothing to talk about. Oh, oh. sometimes talk is about nothing. But always we talk, eh? <laughs> Must confess to having similar doubts about a job. See, the way it works out's just great. Save so much time. If we military police were alone, each time we get a call that had a Japanese national involved, we'd have to wait around for you guys. You'd have to do the same. This way we all... Uh, no sweat. Most small problems settled on spot. <laughs> hey, what is this? Honorable Mutual Admiration Society? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Car 7. Oh. Car 7. Oh. Proceed to corner of B and 6. Car 7. Kumbamwa, you have official business? Of course. I have an order to pick up ten crates for delivery to Tokyo. You have orders? Come inside. I see you have a light. You can examine them. Uh, let me see. This is my order. Stand back there. Stand back or I'll shoot. Quick! Open the loading door and get that truck in off the street. What's happened? The poor fool came at me. I had to shoot him. I don't like it. Get up and hurry. Jim. Yeah, what? What is stuff over there? Where? Over there, by a warehouse. I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, you mean by the door? Yes. Not customary to leave stuff outside at night like that. Maybe we better take a look. Okay. You stay here. Right. Find anything? Nothing so much. Oh, I guess... Guess I gave you wrong steer. Well, what was it? Bunch of stencils, uh, paint too. Here, look, I, I brought the stencils. Uh, well, I guess one of the workmen left them outside when they checked out. It's funny, though, that for household goods shipped from the States to a Sergeant Marco Brown at Camp Drew. What is wrong with that? Nothing, I guess, except that if the stuff was sent from the States, it should have been marked back there. Well, perhaps Sergeant was transferred before arrival of belongings. I guess so. Well, I'll put him back. I'll be looking for him in the morning. Car four. Car four. Disturbance at 16th and W. Oh, Jim, Jim, we Car have a call. Four. Car four. Disturbance at 16th and W. Car four here. Roger. All right, let's go. <laughs> We'll file a complete report later. Got anything new for us? Yeah, just came in, car four. N and 20th. Watchman failed to make hourly check. Got that? Say again. N and 20th. Warehouse 34. Watchman failed to make hourly check. Roger, we're on our way.
That's only a few blocks. Yeah. Say, warehouse 34 is where we discovered stencils. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if there's a connection. Hey, look at that truck going up the street. Right. I saw a tail end. Could not read the number. Yeah, me too. Too dark. Well, we better not waste time going after it until we find out what cook's inside. Right. I'll take the front. You cover the back. I'll wait a minute until you're set. Roger. Hey, you in there. Hey, open up. You all right? Hey, open up. Well, that door's unlocked. Anyone there? Wish I could find some lights. A flashlight doesn't do much good. The place is so big. Frank, you there, Frank? Here, Jim son. Better look around for the watchman. You take this side, I'll take the other. Right. Hey, Jim, over here. What'd you find? The watchman. He is shot. Shot in the shoulder. Is he all right? Oh, pulse is weak. Very weak. I'll see if I can stop this bleeding with the pressure. Poor guy, never had a chance. A nightstick against a gun. Oh, dirty business. I stay here. You call ambulance and report. Right. So Frank applied pressure to try to stop the bleeding, and I waited outside for the ambulance. That's it, Lieutenant. It's too bad you didn't get the number of that truck. Looks like it was the one the thieves were in. Well, we sure couldn't see it, sir. And we didn't know then what we'd find inside. I didn't think too much about it at the time, either, because a lot of trucks used to come up the street to get across the canal. It's sort of a shortcut to the main road to Tokyo. Uh, you said used to? Oh, yeah. Uh, but then the bridge washed out a couple of months ago, and they stopped using this road. I see. Say, that truck must still be up in there. How so? Well, the bridge is out, and it's a sort of dead end now. There was another street leading to the center of town, but a steamship company's building a warehouse down there, and it's blocked off temporarily. Oh. Guess the guys in the truck didn't know about that, or else they got excited when we showed up and took off. They couldn't get back past here because when we got out, we were in a hurry and we left the Jeep where you see it now. Mm. Couldn't get a bicycle through the space that's left. You're right. Wait here a minute. I'll be right back. Hey, Jim-san. Yeah? Maybe we get a chance to crack a big case, ne? You said it. You are listening to the Proudly We Hail production... Night holds a surprise, and we will return in just one moment to Act Two. You know, in the world of music, the melody plus a good arrangement and a good performer most often determines a song's success. In drama, well, the play's a thing. Plus, of course, good actors to deliver the lines. And in whatever occupation you choose, training and teamwork are the reasons for success. If you're a young man of service age... You can be trained for success in the course of your choice by enrolling now in the United States Army's new technical training program. There are over 64 courses to choose from in such fields as radar, guided missiles, automotive maintenance, and, well, the medical services. But these are only a few. And if you act now, you can make your application and rest assured that you have a class space set aside in your name. If you're a high school graduate, we suggest you investigate this outstanding opportunity right now. So for complete information, you visit your nearest United States Army recruiting station. Team up with the Army, and you team up with success. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present Act Two of Night Holds a Surprise. Watch it, please. We've got to get this man out of here. They're taking a the watchman out. I observe. Oh, here comes the lieutenant. I've uh, just been checking with Inspector Matsuko of the Yokohama Central Police. How large is the area in which this truck might be located? Well, Fujihara can tell you that, sir. He's got a map of Yokohama engraved on his brain. Oh, thank you for flattering remarks, Jim-san. I know area slightly. Perhaps roughly a ten blocks square. See? Many small streets... Some too small for a large vehicle to negotiate. All end at canal or rear of dock area. Think you can find this truck? We'd sure like to try, sir. Okay. We've got another car to take your regular patrol over. We'll set up a roadblock here by the warehouse. You go back in there and see if you can flush them out. And keep in radio contact with headquarters. Yes, sir. Good luck. Come on, Frank. Let's go. <laughs> Fool, 
What is it now? I don't know. There used to be a road here. It, it looks like it is closed off. First, we almost drown ourselves in a canal. Now we run into a construction project. Back up. Yes. If you hadn't been in such a hurry to get away back there, we'd be at the hideout by now. Yes, yes. And if I had not been in such a hurry, that police jeep would have our numbers. It would be broadcast all over Japan by now. You don't know that they don't have them anyhow. There must be some way out of here. Yes. See, Frank, I don't know. I guess our idea wasn't so hot after all. It doesn't seem as though you could hide anything as large as a truck in a small area like this one. Unless Confederates in neighborhood. But this I doubt. Believe this route taken in desperation not planned ahead. Well, we better find them pretty soon. Robbers playing hide and seek, ne? But the cops triumph in air. <laughs> You've been reading too many detective stories. <laughs> car four. Oh. Car four. Call in car four. Car four here. Car four. Got anything to report yet? Not yet. Roger. Lieutenant says keep at it. Right. Hey, Jim. Yeah? Quick, around that corner. The truck? Uh, what truck, Jim son? Hope is sane. Always the cautious one. Uh, there. There, ahead. Step on the siren. Right. It's stopping. Can you see the number? Not yet. Car four calling. Car four. We are at... Uh, hey, Frank, where are we? Second alley behind the dock area A. Second alley behind dock area A. We've sighted a truck and they've stopped. It's similar to the one we're looking for. We're getting out now to investigate. Roger, car four. Exercise caution. Right, over. You want to question the driver? Okay. I'll take a look in the back and cover you. What is your business in this area, please? Uh, I am a contract. Unloading What's his story, Frank? He has a bill of lading. Says he's part of contract truckers unloading the SS Breckenridge. Well, what's he doing back here? Well, I lost my way. Says he lost his way. Check in the back, Jim. Authority is for 16 pieces. Right. This canvas is tied down here. Uh, it's got it. Looks like about six. Hey. What is the matter? This paint, it's still wet. And this stencil here, this crate's going to Camp Drew to a Sergeant Marco Brown. Marco Brown? His name on stencils found earlier. All right, get down off that cab, you two. There's going to be a lot of questions for you to answer. Oh. Hey, watch it, Frank. I don't run you down. Quick, out of them. Hold her fire. Step on it. Yeah. I think you've got one of the tires. Yeah, but they're double ones on those big babies. It won't do much good. They are heading back toward the warehouse. Street block there will stop them. Yeah, I hope so. Car four calling, car four calling. Okay, four, go ahead. The truck we stopped is attempting to escape. It's headed back toward warehouse 34. License number T-17803. Repeat, T-17803. Roger, got it. Car four calling. We have just picked up truck. Directly ahead, 300 yards. A rapidly overtaking sink. Roger, car four. District 26 is sending another car up. They may intercept you. Over. Roger. Almost up to him now. Hey, that guy's leaning out the side. Watch out, Frank! <laughs> he got our windshield. Frank, you okay? You're okay. Better a windshield than tire. Yeah. Better call in a report. Right. Car four. Car four calling. Car four here. Car four calling. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Second bullet has lodged in the radio. Where? Radio smashed as well as windshield. Hey. Yeah. Uh, please to keep eyes on the road. We'll describe damage in utmost detail if so desired. Yeah, okay. Oh, here we are on own now. Yeah, we've lost sight of the truck completely. To follow main road is only course. At least with superior speed, if truck does not turn off, we will overtake. I hope so. <laughs> Turn that confounded thing off, will you, Frank? No traffic anyhow, and if the guys in that truck hear it, it'll only alert them. Oh, good idea. Hey, Jim, is that it? Way up ahead. Yeah, I believe it is. Pretty far off, but... Well, it's the right model, anyhow. He's parked the wrong side of road. 
Occupants most likely departed. Yeah. That's the one, all right. Look at that license number. Oh, let's go. All right. Come out with your hands up. Okay, we better check the cab, Frank. Yes. Well, cab is empty. Well, that's what we figured. What now? I have a suggestion. Go ahead. Observe. Bluff behind us. Yeah? Say. Hey, are those caves up there? Right. There's hundreds of them. <laughs> well, if they've gone in there, we'll never get them out. If Jim San desires to attempt, I may be of slight assistance. Don't tell me you know your way around in there. Scotchy. That is a little. When you say that, it, uh, it means you can find your way around in the dark. What are we waiting for? Gee, it's bigger in here than I thought. Entrances made roll for protection. Sure you know what you're doing. Oh, follow me. Caves constructed during war to house small subcontractors making airplane parts. In police academy, we study maps of same. Make tempting hideaway for wrongdoers. Many passageways in the rear exits. You think you can find these guys? It's a regular labyrinth. We must gamble that this is hideout. If refuge taken here in mere desperation could be anywhere. But if caves are permanent dumping ground for loot, no possible location. Okay, let's try it. They send out another car to look for us. They'll see the jeep and know we're somewhere in here anyhow. Right. And if this is hideout, we may desire reinforcements. Yeah. We don't know how many of them there are besides the two that were in the truck. This way, Jim San. Stood down. Searing row here. You're not kidding. Hey, we're going uphill now. Exactly. There is small room on the lower level, which I anticipate as hideout location. Hopeful they are unaware of the trapdoor constructed in ceiling. We may, we may effect surprise entrance like St. Nicholas. Shh. Quiet now. We near location. Your voices. Ah, gamble may have paid off. Ah, ah. Here is trapdoor. Should be ring here to lift door. Ah, so. Got it. Right. Very right. I do not like this job tonight. Don't be tiresome, Luis. And I'm leaving the truck down there on the road. It's like putting out signs to tell them where we are. And how else were we to get to the getaway car? Hey, did you see all those crates stacked up in there? Uh, observed, same. And since truck was not unloaded, is indication that this was not the first job. There's enough evidence down there to send them both up for good. Also observe, apparently, no confederates. We've got the advantage of surprise. Yes, yes. We'll open door a crack once more. When we observe both with attention directed in opposite direction... We'll take them. Right. Well, let us get out of here. What are we waiting for? You think we're going to leave here tonight when every vehicle in the area will doubtless be stopped and searched and we have unquestionably been identified? Well, you can hang around and wait to be trapped like a rat. But I am going. There is an answer to that. You, you would not use that gun. No. Oh, oh, hey. oh. Okay, we've got your boat covered. Drop the gun, please. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Don't. Come on, now. Oh, hey. oh, nice going, Frank. No, no, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yeah. Without gun, courage departs uh. rapidly. Me? Yeah. Uh, you, you okay, Frank? 
Oh, uh, yes, quite, quite. Under you? Oh, yeah. Oh, those guys don't look so hot, though. Hey, for a little guy, you're okay in a free-for-all. <laughs> Jim-san is very kind. Not so bad yourself. <laughs> to call it night, Jim-san. Right. And what a night. Hey, Inspector Matsuko, a happy man tonight. And why not? Well, those guys with records, as long as you're armed? Ah, so. Uh, Inspector Matsuko is not the only guy around here that's happy. You've been grinning like the Cheshire Cat yourself ever since we left the station. What did he say to you? <laughs> he, he say, hopes... Yoshi-san and I be very happy. Hey, that's great. Congratulations. Oh, please to keep hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. <laughs> Ask anybody what they want most out of life, and, well, a great majority of the answers can be boiled down to just one word. Happiness. Well, happiness is a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but basically you might say that it's the achievement of your goals. To be happy is to be successful in whatever you do. And in today's highly specialized world, training is the key to success. If you're a young man of service age, you can get free training without thousands of dollars by enrolling now in your United States Army's technical training program. Under this plan, you can enter the course of your choice and be trained in such interesting fields as X-ray operation, photography, automotive maintenance, and communication. In all, there are about 88 courses to choose from. So for complete information on how you can benefit from this program, visit your local United States Army recruiting station. has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this radio station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army, and this is Richard Hayes speaking, inviting you to tune in the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>